Second off, for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. The mayor of East Providence says he's moving the city's recreation center into the senior center. Now, we've received several calls about this issue, so we sent Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell to get some answers. Susan. Caroline and Mike, the mayor says this is a good option for everybody. He says the building is a better, more central location for kids, and he says seniors will still have access to all of their programs. But some seniors I spoke with say they're worried they'll be run out of their own space. Okay, Rich, you can make the eight now. Ken Gosher has been a member and a volunteer at the East Providence Senior Center for about 15 years. This is by far the best thing ever happened to city of East Providence. But he's worried about a new plan to move youth rec center programs into the senior center. I'm just afraid that everything's going to change. And what happens to the seniors that we get pushed out the door? The level of their services will not be impacted whatsoever. What Mayor I Bob learned, De Silva says it doesn't make sense for the city to continue using this building on Bullocks Point Avenue for youth programs. He says last year it cost the city more than $64,000 just in utilities. We're investing a lot of money in this a subpar facility, in my opinion. We can do better. The mayor says the temporary move into the senior center will happen as soon as possible. The whole goal is to allow the seniors to continue to use their facility and have the, the kids have a much cleaner and a much more efficient centrally located facility. Then in the near future, the mayor says he wants the city to build a new rec center. I hope to have this accomplished within two years. We're not trying to make an elaborate rec center. I'm not looking for five, six million dollar rec center. I'm looking for something less than two million dollars, okay? And I think we can leverage some funding to, to make that happen. Some seniors say they aren't happy with the plan. I had over 200 members sign it. And signed this petition to keep their center just the way it is. The mayor is meeting with members of the senior center this Friday to discuss the issue. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850, or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer, you can call that same number on your screen. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.